a glimpse inside one of Cuba's high security prisons. We were allowed in for the first time in almost a decade to see what conditions for inmates are like here. It was a tour clearly designed to make a good impression. The timing just before a UN review of Cuba's record on human rights. On the only wing we entered, the inmates burst into song for us. Along the corridor, the cells were clean but cramped. Three men share this space as they wait for trial. Nelson showed me what they use for both a toilet and shower here. There is no running water. But his main concern is the tough sentence he may get. Several years for what he says was just a few grams of marijuana. Proportionately, Cuba has one of the highest prison populations in the world, though officials told us they are trying to cut the number sent to top security jails. Getting access to a high security prison like this one here in Cuba is extremely rare. The problem is one of the things Cuba is most criticized for is that groups like the Red Cross are never allowed in here. So there is no regular external scrutiny of conditions. What Cuba wanted to show us was the training it gives inmates, practical skills to help find jobs on the outside. And those who want can also take paid work here inside prison. What we never saw, though, were the political detainees. The ladies in white say there's several dozen on the island. On Sunday, they marched again in Havana, like every week, in a silent demand for their release. The UN Human Rights Review will address the issue and the surge in short-term detentions by police. I'd say nothing has improved. These days, people are still being detained, for hours now, or maybe days, but in great numbers, and just for thinking differently. Behind bars, there are signs that conditions for non-political detainees may be improving, but it's hard to judge from a carefully choreographed tour, and the real experts in prison monitoring are still banned from visiting here. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Havana.